Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Another Fat Guy Cooks. I'm your fat guy, Andy Baker, and today we are going to be doing peanut butter cheesecake, and it is going to be amazing. To the intro. <laughs> Another lost day, another lost year, another chopped onion to cover up the tears, another dream dead, another loss on the books, another fat guy cooks. Okay, so first thing we're going to need is the base for our peanut butter cheesecake. Um, we are going to do digestive biscuits, all smashed up, bit of butter, simple, same thing that you've probably done a thousand times when you've made cheesecakes. Oh, I don't know. What do you guys do? Do you guys cook? Do you do you have lives? Uh, is, is this all just a simulation? <laughs> I don't know. We need uh, 225 grams of these, and there's like 300 in here. So that means we need most of them. And that's about most of them. So I'm uh, using dark chocolate digestives for this because I think the uh, bitterness is the word that I'm looking for. I'm really not on form today. The bitterness of the dark chocolate and the dark chocolate digestives will um, offset the sweetness of the cheesecake nicely and I think it'll balance it out really well so that's why I'm doing dark chocolate you can just do normal digestives you can do whatever you want hobnobs are really good for this especially the chocolate hobnobs whatever but so we're just going to bash these up and then we need about 80 grams of butter I'm going to stick it in a cup because I want to microwave it to melt it um, this cup is actually from my gym space which are a, uh, a very cool um, gym in Kirkby and Ashfield, which I used to go to, which I obviously don't go to anymore, but a guy called Dan and Emma, well, Dan's the guy, Emma's not the guy, run it, really cool guys. As you can see, they get you in amazing shape. Um, but no, no, they actually are, they're very good. Um, I'm just a fat, lazy piece of shit and cannot be saved. See how much that is. That is... 69. <laughs> That's actually 69. Can we see that? Yeah, I hope you can see that on the other camera. Hang on. No, picking it up doesn't work because that's not how weight works. I need more butter is the point, I think. So I just need another 10 grams of butter. Good enough. Mm -hmm. Steak. Okay, we're just going to pop this in the microwave until it's melted. Okay, so we have our melted butter, which you should be able to see in there. So we're just going to blend up our biscuits again and then just slowly drizzle our butter in, get that all nice and incorporated. Now I'm just going to give it a little stir around, make sure there's no bits that haven't got any butter, make sure there's no bits that have got stuck and haven't broken up properly. Okay, that's that done. So now we need our cake tin. First thing we're going to do is just give it a little spray down with this one calorie, you know, spray stuff just to make sure everything comes out nice and easy when it's been cooked. And then we're going to empty our base. Give it a little stir just to make sure it's all incorporated. And dump that in there. Cool. And then we're just gonna use the back of a spoon just to squish it down and spread it all nice all across the bottom. What I actually find is quite good for this is a circular cup with no handle because then you give it a little spray on the bottom so it doesn't stick and then you can just press it in and make sure you get a nice even layer 
all across the bottom. I'll just show you. So that is now ready for our cheesecake mixture. Okay, so next we need 450 grams of cream cheese. You want to go for the full fat stuff because everything else tastes like shit. Um, these guys are 200 each and I need 450, so I need two and three quarters. Mm. Yeah, there we go, Four, 460, that's fucking close enough. And let's throw the rest of this shit away. Okay, so we need six eggs, three full ones, and three just yolks. Three yolks and three whole eggs. Throw that in there too. 175 grams of brown sugar, which we have here. So, that's a little bit over 175, but we'll be fine. 150 milliliters of sour cream. So half of this guy. Yeah, that's about half. 250 grams of smooth peanut butter. 240-ish. Yeah. And you can fuck off too. Right, so now we've got all our stuff that looks like this. We're just gonna bang it all into the stand mixer and smash the hell out of it. Probably get the camera so you can see. There we go. Okay, so if we drop our stand mixer down, there, and we'll put it on slow to start with. Mm. And then start turning them up. Now. I think that's about perfect. Now, optional other thing to do, which I've read is a really good idea when you're doing cheesecakes. I've not done this before, but we'll see how it goes. Is, I'm gonna get some foil. We'll do a couple of pieces of foil, one one way and one the other, like so, and pull them up the sides, like this, okay, we're going to sit it in a pan like so, so it's nice and waterproof at the bottom. Um, and we're going to fill this up with water, boiling water, put that in the oven and then that's going to help it cook nice and even, nice and nice. I don't know man, I've read about it, it seemed like a really good idea, it seems a little bit fancy, we'll see if it works or not. But first thing we're going to do is, I say the first thing we're going to do about 500 times per episode, it's literally impossible for everything I do to be the first thing that I'm gonna do. Another reason why I'm a complete idiot. Okay, let's uh, let's taste this. Oh fuck! That tastes amazing. <laughs> okay, and then this guy is gonna go into this guy. And then what we're going to do is grab the whole thing and we'll bang it. And as you can maybe see on the camera, what that does is it pops all the uh, all the air bubbles that are in it, brings them to the surface, and then pops the air bubbles and gives you a nice clean top, a nice clean top. So, we're going to boil the kettle. Okay, so we're going to take our boiling water and pour it in a pan. And then we're going to take our pan. That's smoky. Hmm. We're going to take our pan. And 
Throw it in the oven. Perfect. Right. I should probably put my cigarette out. <sighs> right, okay, so for the topping, what we need is about 130ml of double cream, which is about half of this guy. So we're just gonna eyeball that. Meh. About that much. And we also need 35 grams of dark chocolate. Third of this guy. Throw him in there. Like so. Yeah, two tablespoons of peanut butter. So there's one. It's quite a big one. There we go. Yeah, a bit more. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna let this come up to temperature. Give him a little stir. And that's gonna turn into a nice chocolate sort of I don't know like splodge chocolate splodge chocolate peanut butter splodge that we're gonna put on the top of our cheesecake once it's uh, cooked and then cooled down but I'm gonna get it ready now and then I'm pretty sure I can just heat it back up again I think could be completely fucking this up but I do have enough stuff to do it again if it goes wrong okay so this is gonna come up to temperature I'm gonna cut now We'll be back in about half an hour when this is done and this is done and everything's ready to be assembled. I will see you in a second for you, about 40 minutes for me. Bye. So we're back about 40 minutes later. Um, let's get him out of the oven and uh, see how we're doing. Ah, it's hot and steamy. I can have a look at my ganache. This looks pretty good. We're gonna leave it again now for probably about an hour. I'm gonna put it in the um, in the fridge, let it cool down, and then uh, and then we'll be back to decorate and finish it off. So I will be right back. A lot of hours later, uh, maybe like three or four hours later. It's like midnight, one o'clock, something like that. Um, but I want to get this finished tonight because then I can forget about it. And then I've just got to edit it and not have to stress. So, cheesecake. The cheesecake has cooled. We need our offset spatula to try and get this thing away from the side. So, let's see how this goes. Wish me luck. Seems like it's loose, so I need a cup. In theory, if I put this glass down here, put this on top of here, it should just. Holy fuck, that actually looks like it worked. Pretend like you've been there before. I expected this to work. <laughs> no problem. Start spreading it on the top of our cheesecake. We have some chocolate covered peanuts that we're just gonna throw on top like a boss. And then we also have some peanut butter popcorn, which I don't know, seemed like a good idea at the time. So let's just get our stick the thumbnail. Now the temptation is to dig into this right now and cut in, but I'm going to leave this overnight, come back to it tomorrow for the ganache to set. I really hope it's actually called ganache. I've heard that term used before. Not 100%, could be wrong. 
could just be icing. Oh. Come back tomorrow, check it out, see how it looks. Finish up. I'll see you then. Bye. Okay. See what we got here. soon.